Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. About two weeks ago, I'll let you know that Microsoft had said that Windows 11 is 2.3 times faster than Windows 10. And as I mentioned in the video, which will be linked, Microsoft had published an article that claims that Windows 11 is better and faster than Windows 10 in four main areas. Check the video out for more info because there was a bit of a catch with Microsoft's statement. Now, in regards to Microsoft's claim, I ran a poll the same week as posting that video, asking the question, so do you agree that Windows 11 is 2.3 times faster than Windows 10? And as you can see, the resounding majority of you, 68% out of 1.2 thousand votes says, no, you don't agree that Windows 11 is 2.3 times faster than Windows 10. And that is also something I've mentioned personally on the channel that I also feel that Windows 11 on a normal PC, I'm not talking about Copilot Plus PCs and stuff like that. I'm talking about just your normal PC. In my personal experience and opinion, Windows 11 is a little bit more sluggish than Windows 10. Now, in regards to Windows 11's performance and why I'm mentioning all of this is because late last week, Microsoft rolled out the latest dev and beta builds where it's introducing the ability to auto-generate system logs when the operating system detects system performance issues. Now, just another quick recap. The dev channel is where Microsoft is testing this year's annual feature update, version 25H2. And Microsoft has this officially to say. And it says, and I'm quoting, as part of our commitment to improving Windows performance, logs are now collected when your PC has experienced any slow or sluggish performance. Windows insiders are encouraged to provide feedback when experiencing PC issues related to slow or sluggish performance, allowing Feedback Hub to automatically collect these logs, which will help us root cause issues faster. It also mentions that you can use the desktop system sluggishness category when filing feedback to allow Feedback Hub to automatically pick up these logs. Microsoft does say these logs are stored locally and only sent to Microsoft via Feedback Hub when feedback is submitted. So this is only taking place now in the dev and the beta channels. So you don't have to worry about telemetry in the stable version in regards to this feedback. So basically what Microsoft is saying that with this year's annual feature update, Windows 11 25H2, I'll leave a playlist because I have posted some videos if you'd like some more info in the end screen for 25H2. And Windows 11 25H2 could be improved in regards to its performance by hopefully ironing out all those issues before this year's annual feature update does roll out because Windows 25H2, Windows 11 is going to be an enablement package, not a full-blown system upgrade like 24H2 was. So there is a good chance because it is going to be a lighter package and Microsoft is working to iron out those kinks and those bugs. Hopefully we could see a little bit of an increase in performance and a little bit less sluggishness with 25H2, but I'll keep you posted. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.